welcome back. What's that? A little bit over a month. All I've got left is another rest of my life. Yeah. How many days is that? 10,000? 10,000? Does that sound right? 10,000 is only 20 years. Hold on. No, 10,000 is 30 years. 30 years, 60. Yeah. I'd be happy with 64, I reckon. 64 and just die of natural causes. I reckon I know how I'm going to die. Yeah, I I had a vision. I'm going to die free soloing El Capitan. Yep. I know. I'm going to get like 10 feet and then I'm going to slip off. Boyle died free soloing. <laughs> Boyle died free soloing El Capitan. That would make me pretty sick, actually. I'd be the second person to attempt it. Yeah, Boyle's the second person to attempt it. He had no prior rock climbing experience. He was extremely unfit. And he had a cigarette before he made the second ever attempt of free soloing El Capitan. Ten minutes later, dead. Ten minutes. I don't know if you watched that movie. If any of you has watched that movie. It's called Free Solo. Some nerd scaled or climbed without a rope. El Capitan. And I say El Capitan like I know what the fuck it was before that movie, which I didn't. But it's a pretty steep clip face at Yellowstone National Park in the States. And some autistic guy (laughs) free soloed it. And I'm going to be the second person to do it when I'm 64 and ready to go. I've been watching a lot of inspirational shit recently. You need to fill your time with something else. Not having the booze down, that, that's opened up a lot of free time. So I've been watching a lot of inspirational shit to try and, I don't know how to say it, better myself. Watching this inspiring stuff is so inspiring that I really don't even have to go out and do anything. I already feel inspired. I don't even have to accomplish anything. The accomplishment is in watching the inspiring videos. I think if I even went out and tried to attempt anything after these inspiring videos, I think I'd hate it. I just like watching the videos. You can do it. It's a lot of positive reinforcement. You can do it. Break through the pain barrier. Like I don't even want to see the fucking pain barrier to be honest. To be honest with you, you can't hide from pain. There's always going to... Alright, can I figure that out myself then? Because I'm going to try and hide from it. I've been taking saunas. That's that's how I've been challenging myself. Because I'm not ready to start exercising yet. I just can't be fucked exercising as well. So I've been taking saunas and that's where I've been doing the mind challenges. I read this quote yesterday by Muhammad Ali and it was so inspirational. I haven't implemented it yet. He's like, I don't start counting my sit-ups until they hurt because they're the only ones that count. Which means I just need to start counting my sit-ups after four. I'm like, one, two, three, four. I want one. Oh, that's enough. Five sit-ups. I think I understand this, like, break through the pain barrier, don't quit, don't give up type mentality. But I think I think it's something that needs to be trained into you over a long period of time. You don't just start at the end. So I need to start training myself little by little to be the world's baddest man. I'll start doing it, but next week. I reckon I could do about seven chin-ups now. So I've increased my chin-up ratio by doing nothing, just eating a little bit healthier. Dropping like 13, 14, 15 kilos. Whatever the fuck it is. You need to build all this shit. That's the thing they never taught you. Or maybe they didn't, I just wasn't listening. You start from the bottom and then you work your ass off and then you take a million failures and you beat yourself up and you sacrifice... And then eventually you get nothing. But that's the process. That's the only process there is. 
Alright, that's enough podcast today. Fuck you. See you later.